think this is the guy you're gonna be seeing a lot more of. Uh, Everyone has their own identity, their own styles of life, if you will. I love these games, yeah. dude. They're so awesome. <laughs> Okay. Welcome to the Progress Show. Not only am I here with a returning partner and co-host, but I think this is the guy you're going to be seeing a lot more of. <laughs> <laughs> what's up, Alex? Yo, Dara, what's going on, my man? Not much, man. Happy to be here with you, brother. Same here, same here. Just so you don't forget it, Darwin is a professional real estate person. Yes, sir. <laughs> Serving the Philadelphia area, helping people buy, sell, and invest in real estate. Got it. Yeah, if you ever need a realtor who's top-notch... Give Mr. Darwin Lariano a call. Well, Darwin, we're going to talk about a lot of topics today, and they're going to be a lot of fun. Okay. So I'm excited. I hope you're ready for them because <laughs> we're going to get your opinion. By the end of this podcast, people are going to know a lot of your opinions based on Philadelphia and uh, your, yourself. So okay, I'm excited, man. Okay. And um, yeah, I really want to hop right into it. But um, just before we start, you know, give me a give me a, a little motivational uh, blob. A motivational blob. What does it have to be on? Just, just what you're doing, man. Give 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 the audience something that's going to get them through the rest of their day. Something that's going to get them. Th okay. Um, I think so. The thing, I guess. Mm, let me think about this. Doesn't have to be too serious. Just something no? fun. Just fun. Some some. Okay. <laughs> um. Well. So I get, I mean, I got, I went, I worked out today and while I was working out, I'm like thinking, man, I, this is like, my life is starting to get repetitive. Like it's very routine based and I love it that I'm, you know, in this routine and my routine's going well and that I'm, you know, I'm seeing progress, right? Cause we're progress of Pagano <laughs> today. And I thought about it. How can I make my, how can I make the boring fun? And I just think adding personality, just being yourself, being authentic. So I started singing in the, <laughs> while I was working out, there was these big Husky dudes all around me and I'm just with my high pitched singing. Singing and you know and <laughs> dancing and i'm just i thought i'd just be yourself you know what i mean like obviously continue to strive and be the best person that you can be but also you know make it fun you know mm -hmm. be childlike you know so just in enjoy life be while yourself, you're be child I, I love that i love that I'm, yeah i'm applying that today so let's <laughs> let's do it man um, go. we're gonna do some games okay. and we're gonna have some fun with it and some trivia some games we're gonna see your opinion on things so we're gonna start off with okay. uh game one which is name as games. many. So okay. what you're going to be doing is you're going to have 30 seconds, and you're going to have 30 seconds to name as many um, whatever topic or whatever thing we're talking about uh, at a time. Okay? So you have 30 okay. seconds for it. Okay. All right? So first one, okay? You're going to have 30 seconds to name as many cities in Pennsylvania as possible. Okay. All right? Okay. Ready, set, go. Scranton, Reading, Allentown, Bethlehem, Whitehall. Bethlehem? Bethlehem? I thought it was Bethlehem. Bethlehem, Bethlehem. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Bethlehem. <laughs> Bethlehem. Yeah, I think you might be right, you might be right about that. Um, um, let's see what else we got. Uh, Kutztown. We oh, that's have, a borough, man. That's, that's a, a borough. That's a borough. That's not a city. Okay. Okay. Um, it's cities. How many city? I think, I Philadelphia think, is a city. I think uh, your thirty seconds are up, okay, man. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no, well, how would do? It? Okay. Okay. Ra okay. Rate that for me. How many? How many was that? That was that was not that many, man. I don't think so. So you know, you know your side where you do real estate, where you where you know your business. That's you know that. But like, you know, if we're going all the way out west, there's a lot. Of, there, I feel there's a lot of cities. Yeah. I mean, but Pennsylvania's big. Bro. It is. It's it's actually shockingly big. I did the drive not that long ago from Philadelphia all the way to Erie. Dude, that was like six and a half hours. And so. Erie is where? Is Erie is the literally the, the top, like if you go, if you're southeast, the most southeastern point in Philadelphia, okay. it's a top most like northwestern point in okay. Pennsylvania. So, okay. So, but you go up north first, like up towards like uh, the Poconos, and then you cut and you go west from that end. So okay. it's like two hours north, and then you cut over, you know, four hours west. Wow. So yep. six hour drive. Six hour drive, man. <laughs> yeah that's big i mean jersey could never say that but you know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> don't want to don't want to disrespect jersey right now <laughs> no we love we love our jersey people <laughs> uh all right man next next round here okay okay 
So you're going to have 30 seconds to name as many neighborhoods in Philly as possible. Okay. All right? Okay. All right, man. Three, two, one. I'm going to start with Oxford Circle. I'm going to go with Fishtown. I'm going to go with Northern Liberties. Northern Liberties, shout out. Uh, I'm going to go with Newbold. I'm going to go with Passyunk, Maniunk. Ooh, okay. I got the Youngs. Go with, <laughs> I'm going to go with uh, Pine Valley. Okay. I'm going to go with uh, East Falls. Uh, uh, my 30 seconds? Am I close? You, no. you still got 10 seconds. Uh, mm, there's think so Northeast, many. think Northeast, think North bustled East, in, bustled in, uh, Summer Ron Hurst, Ron Hurst, Summer <laughs> all, right, all right, that was good, that was good, that was good. <laughs> that was fun. There's so many. There, there is. Dude, there's so many neighborhoods. Like, just think in the Northeast, just that area, like Pine Valley, Summer Den, bustled in. What else you got over there? What? Parkwood, Morel, Morel. Yep. Um, you have Elkins Park. I Would you consider that Philadelphia? No, no? sir. No, Elkins Park is not, okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Go ahead. I wouldn't consider Elkins Park. I mean, that's that's not in Philadelphia. I guess, what well, isn't part of Elkins Park in Philly County? I think so. Like a very small part that's of that? a very small part of it. It's like like Sheltonham yeah. and then a little bit of that Elkins Park. I, I think a little bit, but not after that, it's Montgomery. Yeah, I know so. I know most of Elkins Park is Montgomery, but sometimes yeah. I'll put in a zip code in my system, yeah. like my mortgage system right by there. Yeah. And it'll show like Philadelphia County and then Elkins Park. I'm like, what? I never, I never knew that because I thought it was all part of Cheltenham. Yeah. So well, in the MLS, when I put it and I put Philadelphia County and then I'll put us like a certain price range, it some of Cheltenham and Elkins Park pops up too. So uh. you know, it's it's a it's a weird it's a weird little part of the city right there. But you know, <laughs> dude, think of how many neighborhoods are in like South Philly to North Philly, like. Philly is a neighborhood city. Like <laughs> you got so many different neighborhoods, and they're all, they all have their own identity too, for sure. Which, uh, which I think is pretty cool. Yeah, you all right, have, man. You have. I mean, I think I I, I I see it as like we're all one city, but I feel like every like you said, everyone has their own identity. I mean, West Philly is completely different from Center City, which is completely different from even North Philly, which is completely different from Northeast Philly, which is completely yep. different from South Philly. So. I, I agree with you. They all have their you know their own styles of life, if you will. You know? And speaking of that, that's gonna bring us right to our next one. Mm. Thirty seconds to name as many Philly suburbs as possible. Philly suburbs. Yeah. So the suburbs so obviously Philly's a county. So, so we're gonna count about. like the whole Philly suburbs. So we can go Jersey, you can go uh Montgomery, Bucks, okay. Chester County, any of those areas, any of those prominent suburbs. Suburbs. Yes. Ooh, this was gonna be tough for me. All right, man. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Okay. Um, I'll say suburbs. Ugh, I'll, I'll start off with a few. Hunting the Valley. Hunting, okay. Abington. Abington. Abington Sheltonham. Sheltonham. Um. <laughs> Come on, Ben Salem. Ben, the, Langhorn. Ben, oh my goodness. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> No, I give up. I give up on this one. Give up on this yeah, one. This one, no, too much thinking for me. Oh. I, I, I'm focused and hyper focused in Philadelphia right now. Really? Yeah, like I'm trying to, I'm trying to take over all of Philly, but all the of, suburbs. Come on, man. The suburbs, like you got. Come I on, man. That's suburbs, a great market. Yeah. I know it is. It's it is a great yeah. market in your, but it's not my. It's not where I, makes me. You know, I want Philly. I well, want what Willow Grove. Philly. I don't want Willow Grove. What about Doylestown? I want all of Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay, okay. All right. I'm taking over Philadelphia. Mike taking McCann, over. all those guys. Here I come for you. Darwin's coming for you. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, Darwin, you, know, you can still help you can still help someone out in the suburbs. For sure. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Yeah. And I have investors that have properties in Ben Salem that we help them buy and sell, right? Mm -hmm. And like those some of those around. I have uh, a client of mine that bought a property in um it's like Ridley mm -hmm. in Delaware County. Um, so that's like a, a nice yeah, that's Delco. There. Yeah, so Shout out Delco. Oh, you know, gotta talk about like I'm from Delco. You know, that's that's kind of the accent. That's the accent. Yeah, right like, oh. going down to the Wawa, having a good time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on to the next one. <laughs> okay. Thirty seconds to name as many real estate brokerages as possible. Okay. All right. Yeah. Ready? Set. Go. go. <laughs> Exp Realty, Keller Williams. Real, Compass, 
Century 21. <clears throat> you have uh, Realty Mark. You have Long and Foster. Uh, F- Fox Roach, Berkshire Hathaway. Big one, Balloon. Balloon. Realty? No, no. Oh, oh, Remax. Remax, Remax. Remax. <laughs> oh, yeah, solid, solid. Um, That's about 10. That's yeah. all I got. That's about 30 seconds. Yeah. That was good, man. That was a lot. <laughs> a lot of thinking you got me doing. What, what other ones did we leave out? Um, I mean, Remax is a big one. Dude, you pretty much nailed as many as I can think of. Yeah. What's, what about the new one? Um, did you say real? You said real. Real. Um, yeah, they're coming for EXP, man. <sighs> That's what I've been saying. <laughs> what about Compass? Did you say Compass? Compass, yeah. Yeah. I said Compass. Dude, you nailed a lot. If you, if you, if you, uh, if, if you hear any that we left out, make sure to mention it. Yeah, let, you know. <laughs> let us know. All right, man. Last one. This is similar, but you have 30 seconds to name as many mortgage companies as possible. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Go ahead. Three, two, one. Um, Lowe's Incorporated, <laughs> Philadelphia Mortgage Company. Um, that's it. I only cross country, cross, cross country. country mortgage, guaranteed rate, guaranteed rate, loan depot. Can you count the big banks like Bank of America and all nah, that stuff? Nah, no, they're not, they're not just not a really. mortgage uh, company. Allied Mortgage. Okay, okay. Um, see, I'm only focused on the guys that I use. Yeah, and there Loans you go. Incorporated is the big one that I use. So. <laughs> see, if you see an offer that come through and it's like Loans Incorporated, you're like, I'm taking this offer. That, that does. I know that I know that offer is gonna be good. That's right. <laughs> I know this guy, this loan officer did his, did his work. He got all the documents. Yep. Alex, what company are you with again? Loans Incorporated, okay. baby. <laughs> <laughs> the one, the only Loans Incorporated. <laughs> good man. I liked it again. That was a nice little like we're getting we're getting warmed up. You're, yeah. you're getting your mind going because we've got a few few nice games and you're gonna have to be using that mind a little more. I think. Okay. This next one's coming up. So okay. Um, this one's this one's fun though. This one's really fun. I know I know you like to eat. I like to eat as well. So this next topic is about food, all right? And it's going to be localized, all right? So you, we're going to be doing the blind ranking game, okay? okay? So the way it works is you're going to be blindly ranking these top, or I'm sorry, these five Pennsylvania foods without knowing which one comes next. So okay. you're going to blindly rank these five Pennsylvania foods without knowing which one comes next, okay. all right? And five being the worst, one being the best, okay? Okay. All right? Okay. So, Remember, if you put a food ranking, you know, at number three, you can't place another food number three. Yeah. Or if you give someone the worst or the best, you can't put anything above those or okay. below those. Okay? Okay. Okay. All right. So we're going to start off with Scrapple, Pennsylvania Dutch food made from ground pork scraps. Five. Five worse. Yeah. You don't like a fried Scrapple? Mm-mm. Dude, fried Scrapple is the best. Put that on a, like a breakfast sandwich or, dude, Scrapple's amazing. You don't, you don't like it? Mm-mm. Wow. All right. No Scrapple for Darwin. <laughs> All right. Um, next up, we have the cheesesteak. It's not the Philly cheesesteak. It's the cheesesteak. Three. You're putting cheesesteak at three. Yeah. Really, it's not the Philly cheese Mr. Steak. Philadelphia putting cheesesteak at three. It's not the Philly cheesesteak. You said it, it's no, not it's the Philly, Philly cheesesteak, but you know we're in Philly, so you know you go out to like Wisconsin, they're like, oh yeah, the Philly cheesesteak, or you go out to New Jersey, the Philly cheesesteak. You're coming, and you're in Philadelphia. You're, you're calling just a cheesesteak. Okay, then so, okay. the cheesesteak, the okay. one that you you go down to your local your local shop and get two. And then I'll put that one at two. So you're put, so Philly cheesesteaks at two. Two. All right, two. Okay. okay. All right. How about the hoagie? It was originated in Philly during World War One. Three. Three. You're going to put hoagie at three? Three. All right. I think that's solid. I mean, what's your favorite type of hoagie? Uh, the Italian hoagie is my favorite type the of hoagie. The Italian hoagie. Yeah, it's just because that one has the the provolone. It has the the, the, the different the delis. Meats, the, oh, meats, the, oh, meats. the meats. Oh, the meats. The meats. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Do you eat it with, with like oil and mayo and vinegar? Yeah. Do you put it all? Salt, yeah. pepper, vinegar? All of it. All of it. I yeah. need all of it. That's the best. Absolutely all of it. <laughs> <laughs> if it doesn't have oregano, then it's not really an Italian cheesesteak, in my opinion. Yeah. Would you, would you agree, or agree or disagree with that? I don't like oregano. You don't, okay. Dude, I'm going to say, I, I'm Italian. I don't like oregano. Yeah. Wow. I'm not a huge oregano guy. Really? Mm-mm. I don't okay. know why. I don't know why. I'm not a huge oregano guy. Okay. Fair enough. Um, next is the banana splits. 
It was invented in 1904 by David Strickler at Tassel Pharmacy in Latrobe, Pennsylvania. So mm. I think that's that's the western side of the state, Latrobe. Okay. So where'd you put the banana split? I'm gonna put that at one. 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 The banana split at <laughs> one. What? Dude, that's crazy. <laughs> banana split. That's that's my five, dude. That's, that's your five. It's my five. Banana split. That that doesn't do it for me. Uh, I'm a big. That's that's sugar, right? That's a nice. That's an ice cream. That's an ice cream, yeah, yeah. The banana split. Yeah, yeah. You see those in world famous, man. Yeah. All right, banana Can't, split one. That's awesome. They were invented in in in, in Pennsylvania. Latrobe, yes, Latrobe, Latrobe Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Um, next up, well, this is going to be your number four, which is the soft pretzel, hot pretzel, and that was invented. Uh, it's from Germany, oh. but it was brought here by the Pennsylvania Dutch, um, and they brought the pretzel to America. So wow. Pennsylvania Dutch, they came to Pennsylvania and brought the soft pretzel. Wow. Yep. Man, if I could go back, yeah. I know I can't, but if I could go back, I'd put the pretzel at one uh, and the banana split at four. Really? I really would, yeah. Really? I love pretzel. Yeah, the soft pretzel, <laughs> dude. You can't. I know. The soft with pretzel? mustard? No, not with mustard. Oh, there's dude. this this other, the that the Philly pretzel, the the the, the pretzel factory yeah. has that, oh, it's the, the sweet, the, the sweet sauce. I don't know what it's called, but that sauce is like heaven to me. Really? You put a little bit of that thing. It's sweet. Oh my goodness. It's good. To die for. <laughs> to right. die for. But um, yeah, dude, when I think of soft pretzels, I think of like when I was a kid, you know, like probably in seventh, eighth grade, we'd had a little lunch break and or a little like snack break, and yeah. they would they were like, "All right, we got pretzels, yeah, twenty five cents. Who wants?" To I buy remember them? that. Oh my goodness! I'm like, "All right, I'll take five of them." And if my friends didn't yep. want them, oh yo, let me let me <laughs> let me get yours too. You know, what Dude, I, mean? I just so, remember after day middle school, they'd be selling soft pretzels for twenty five cents on your exit, so you could go buy you know five soft pretzels, bring them home, whatever. It was great, man. Great times, yeah. simpler times. Yeah, for sure. For sure. All right, man. Next we have you are going to blindly rank these Philly cheesesteak spots without knowing which one comes next. Five being the worst, one being the best. Okay. 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 So first up we have Pat's Kings of Steaks in South Philly. That's a tough one. It's tough. It's so <laughs> iconic. Like right? that's the thing. It's like if we're going based off of flavor, mm -hmm. that's what we're going off. We're going based off of flavor. Okay. So Pat's being the name, the brand. I mean, it's kind of like, you know, a one and only type thing. Yeah. But we're going based off flavor. Where, where would you put it? My heart's telling me four. Four for flavor. Okay. I a lot know. of people are gonna say probably five, but four. I think four is fair. Just just based off of everything you go in there, I think Pat's is good. Yeah, Pat's is good. Pat's or Gino's though. I'm a Gino's guy. Gino's guy. I would take a Gino's. Yeah. Okay. Gino's. Day, yeah. All right. So Pat's a four. I think I think that's solid. Next, we're going up north. We're going to Max's Steaks. Max's Steaks. I've never had Max's. Steaks. I've actually never had a Max's Steaks either, but I heard they're I heard they're really good. They're good. Yeah, <laughs> okay. I heard they're really good. I've never had one, but um, okay. I heard they're really good. Okay, let's put them at three. <laughs> You're gonna put them above Pat's, and you never even had them. Uh, <laughs> right. You said you heard they were good, so <laughs> I heard they were really good. All right, so um, all right, Max is gonna go with threes. Um, okay, D'Alessandro's hailing from Roxborough. D'Alessandro Steaks, they're, they're amazing. One. 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 You're going to give them the crown. Yeah. All right. They take it. <laughs> Who else takes it? <laughs> well, this this next one might take it, man. This next one might take it. Okay. We're going up. I actually, this is kind of a sin, but I haven't been here yet. Angelo's in South Philly. I haven't been to Angelo's. I've heard about them. I, I heard Angelo's is amazing. I mean, I've seen some pictures and videos of Angelo's just because of how popular they are. Yeah. Do they? It looks it looks amazing. Off of yeah. pictures alone, like, I'm like, this is probably a phenomenal cheesesteak. Yeah. Maybe, maybe we should go there soon and try them out. Yeah, we but should. Where, where would you put it? Two. Two, okay. I haven't tried them. But, you know? yeah, and fair. And Del Sandro's, I haven't, I haven't had a cheesesteak that beats Del Sandro's. Okay. So. Well, maybe maybe it will. <laughs> maybe Max's or um, Angela's would beat it. Okay. All right, and last up, it's going to go in your last number five spot. It's going to be Joe's Steaks in Fishtown. Okay. I think that's a what solid. do you think? Think that's solid? I, because I haven't had the other two, uh, I would say I'm iffy. But unfortunately, it, it'll have to do. It, it depends on how the other two taste. Because if not, then Joe's is taking one of their spots. Okay. Right. So, but yeah, I think I'm I'm happy with that. Okay. Fair. Fair. All right. Where'd you have Pat's? 
<sighs> Dude, I would put Pats at five. I five. mean, it, it's good. It's a good solid choice. But um, based off of if I knew the other options going into it, mm-hmm. I would probably put Pats at five. But if you're going off of marketing, off of being iconic, being a Philly staple, yeah, we're going to put Pat. You know, Pat's probably number one, man. Yeah. Pat's, you know, is probably number one. Yeah, for you know, sure. Angelos is coming up, though. There are a lot of people are going to Philly for Angelos. Really? Mm-hmm. I know a lot of people that, well, a lot of my friends that I went to college with back when I used to go to West Virginia, they like they would come and they would come visit me and immediately we had West Virginia, that's coming up later in our... Uh, Really? In our show, actually. Yeah, so they would, they would, <laughs> they would, they would, it's either Pats or Geno's is where they would want to go. Yeah. So, yeah. It's a good spot, man. They're like, they're open so late, too. So after like a game or something, yep. you go down there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. Right after an Eagles game, go down and get a, get a steak from Pats or Geno's and nothing hits better, man. Yeah. Call it a night after that, right? Yeah. All right, guys. We're good. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> All right, man. You ready for the next game? All right, yeah. These 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 are getting a little tougher, but I'm liking it. You know what I mean? It, it's good, man. It's good. We had a little warm up. We had yeah. a little bit of fun with the blind ranking. This one is going to be a guessing game. All right, um, you're going to be guessing a famous real estate influencer. Okay. Okay. So you can call out things like where are they from, what are they known for, with some key. I have some fast facts on them, so you okay. can ask me for some fast facts, and then you have to figure out the person. Okay. Okay. All right. So. This is gonna be fun. We're going to go ahead and guess the real estate influencer. Okay. All right. First up, start asking away. Okay. The first one. All right. So uh, where are they Where are they from? So they're, they're born in Louisiana. Okay. All right. So that's where they're born. Where do they currently do business? They do business all over. They uh, own over $1.5 billion worth of properties. Okay. $1.5 billion. Are they... So you said influencer. So I'm guessing it's either lending side it's all real estate real estate real estate agent yeah. side real estate investor M- more side. agent investor side agent and investor yeah, not they, lender oh i know what is grant cardone grant cardone <laughs> dude, that was fast that was really fast yeah, you said you said grant cardone 1.5 billion oh, yeah okay, yep grant cardone dude that, that was good that was really quick um some of the other fast facts i had on him was by age 30 he had his own successful real estate company he's a best-selling author and he also is known for the 10x growth conference. Yeah. yeah. And the 10x book. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the 10x book. Yep. I just bought that. I I listened I've listened to it multiple times, but I just bought it and I wanted to have a hard copy cuz I want to actually read it and sit down and just have it in front of me. Dude, I I that man is is he's a big big mentor of mine. I really yeah. look up to him. Yeah, his, his, his stuff's awesome. His stuff is I love when he like just goes up to one of his employees in the office and like, yeah. "All right, man, let's hear let's hear your sales pitch." <laughs> And the guy's like, hi, George, uh, this is like, and, and Grant's like, all right. He takes it over and just like shows him how, how it's done. And uh, it's great stuff, man. I think, I think he's great. Master cold caller too. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I don't know if you saw, but he did a, um, a, uh, he did a, a show mm-hmm. where he was the undercover billionaire. And he, basically, he had 90 days to create a million dollar business. No, I did not see oh, that. Oh, my goodness. Did he do it? He, he did. He, he superseded that. That's in, crazy, in man. In 90 days, he created a, a a marketing business where they were essentially doing like content for people, right? He partnered up with the gym owner who, who had a lot of businesses, and he met up with them basically cold. What, and they didn't the know who he was? Thing. Like they didn't the, know, no. Wow. Changed his name, changed his identity, cut his hair, shaved his beard, put on glasses. Like That's incredible. Completely gone off the face of the map as Grant Cardone. He was like Curtis Blades or something. Where is it? Where can you find that at? Because I'm about to watch that tonight. On YouTube. Just on YouTube. Yeah, YouTube, yeah. yeah. He And he'll have like, he, he does like uh like the voiceover of it too as well. And uh, he ended up in 90 days, ended up... M- building a 5.5 million dollar dude that's insane in 90 <laughs> days <dude>. that is insane <laughs> it shows you that like it's not really about having money it's about it's not even just luck man it's just no, like it's, you have that it's it's it's, it's you just he, got it he just, he just he, i mean he's done it right so he yeah. knows what to do right so yeah. it's knowledge it's all so he has he just has wisdom right yeah. so he can do like his success wasn't luck yeah like no. you said i love that yeah you ready for the next one yeah all right man all right all right, go ahead. Start asking away. Okay. Um, so, where where were they? Where are they born? So they were born in Texas, but raised in Mass. And raised in Massachusetts. Yes. Okay. <coughs> um, it tell me about um, his social media. So they are a they have a huge social media presence. Um, 
they are a big time TV realtor and they also have a hit show on Netflix. Okay. Um, is it okay? Um, do uh, is the show called Selling Sunset? Close, close, okay. kind of. It's another play on word, kind of. Okay. Is it the Oppenheimer group? It is not. The not Jason Opp- no? no, I think that's part of the same show, right? It, it is the same yeah. show. Okay, so ooh. they're not on the West Coast. They're okay. on the East Coast. They're on the East Coast. East Coast. What what city in the East Coast? Well, I guess what what that, state? I think that might give it. I think that might give it. Just think big <laughs> East Coast city, right? The, the big, big East Coast city. New uh, York. Yes. Ryan Serhan. Ryan Serhan. <laughs> <laughs> I told you that would give it away. Yeah. I told you that would give it away. This is, um, of, this is a king of New York right there in real estate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? So Ryan Serhan and some, some of the other facts I have about him. Um, yes, he has a big show on Netflix. Yep. Um, he has a best-selling real estate book that has a very catchy title. Um, What's the which one? Which one's that? I think sell it like Sirhan. Sell it like Sirhan. Yeah, okay. that's yeah. pretty catchy. Yeah, he has other ones. Uh, big money energy. That's oh yeah, one. yeah. That's brand a, it like Sirhan. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's got he's got some catchy names, man. Yeah. They they are very good. Um, he also owns a real estate brokerage, and one of them are actually in Philadelphia. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, very cool. All right, you got that one. Solid guy. Another another big guy that I also look up to. Dude, you're you're see he's influenced. I love it. I love it. <laughs> do you on the lending perspective, do you keep up with the real estate like influencers as you well? You have to. You have to know what the trends are, man. You have to know what, what other realtors are doing, what realtors are looking up to. Mm. Um, I think it just sharpens sharpens your tool because like, yeah, we're not in field like you guys. Yeah. We're kind of in the background. Yeah. But we have to know the trends. We have to know what uh what's what's popping on social media. It's just, it's a similar game. So that shows that that shows your level of expertise too uh, of you being able you know it's a one thing to actually understand the trends too. Yeah, I like that. You have to, and you know, if you're in mortgage, you probably like real estate and believe in real estate. So it's cool mm-hmm. seeing um, a lot of the real estate influence what they show, and a lot of what uh, takes off in that space because. Mm-hmm. For mortgage too, a lot of people don't really know what a loan officer is or, or mortgage is. Mm-hmm. A lot of people who like just don't really like know what I do. Like maybe they saw on Facebook that I'm in real estate. They think I'm a realtor. They don't even know what a, a mortgage is. So yeah. um, people actually who aren't in the real estate space confuse a loan officer with being a realtor. Mm. So um, it, it is similar. Obviously, that's part of your job as a mortgage loan officer is to educate people on what is a mortgage and how to get one and how to use that as a tool to create wealth and uh, put a put a roof over your head that you own and you're not paying someone else's mortgage. So. Yeah. yeah. I love it. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> you ready for the next one, man? Yes, sir. All right. All right. So where were they? Where are they born? Okay. They're from New York. Okay. Um, they are well, go ahead. I'm gonna let you ask because okay. I don't wanna give it give it away too okay, fast. Okay, okay. Um so, so they're from New York. Where do they live now? Would that give it away? So I don't have it written, but I know that they own a property in California. I'm sure they own property in New York. Okay. They are okay do they have assets under management or are they more on the real estate so they're a big time investor investors they sold their company in 2001 for 66 million but when i say investor they also invest in they've invested in over 80 businesses and they're best known for their role on a hit tv business show shark tank shark tank that, that's Barbara being sh- Corcoran. Yes, you, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> and she also has a, a brokerage as well, mm-hmm. the Corcoran Group, right? Corcoran. She sold that. So she sold that. So what is, I know she has a real estate brokerage. I know they're really popular in like Florida, right? Oh, I'm not sure. Corcoran Real Estate, I think. I'm not yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, she does have a, let me look that up. I know she has a um, an actual real estate brokerage as well. Yeah, so she did sell the Corcoran Group in 2001, but. Looks like it's she might be still a partner. I'm not, I'm not sure. If you're a corporate agent, let us know. I'd love to know more. Yeah, absolutely. But cool, man. So you got those ones pretty pretty easy. I'm I'm impressed. You got you got them quicker than I thought. I <laughs> thought it was gonna take you maybe a little bit more, but um, you definitely are on top of your real estate influencer game. <laughs> It's like you. I have to stay on top of market trends and listen to the experts, right? They've been doing this for so long. They they, they have the success. So I, I think it's like, you know, I, I follow the fruit on the tree. If somebody has those, you know, that level of results that, that, that I'm trying to get to, um, then I, I'm going to listen to them, right? Well, now. those are the top three and in order, too, I'm pretty sure. So it's yep. pretty awesome. All right, man. This is uh, the next game. This one's fun. We're, we're going to go back a little more local. Okay. Um, this is guessing the top 10. So, all right. So okay. here's number one. So, um, in order, 
What like are the top ten of what? Yep, I'm gonna read that right now. Okay, okay, you got so. it. Okay. okay, ready? What are the top ten most expensive neighborhoods in Philadelphia? And this is according to Real Estate Company Preview, and this is based on the average listing price. Average listing price. Mm-hmm. Oh man. Top ten most expensive neighborhoods oh, in Philadelphia. This is this is all right. So I'm gonna be upfront. This is uh, I I may not get all of this right. That's okay. okay? That's okay. <laughs> okay. So uh, this this is this will be a learning experience for yep. me as well. All right. All right. All right. So so should I start? Go ahead. Go yeah. Okay. So start go going. from top from ten to one or you one can give 10. it however order you want. I'll tell you which one they're at and we'll fill them in as we go. Okay. Um. I'm gonna start off with Rittenhouse. I'll right. put that around one. Rittenhouse, they are number one. Number Rittenhouse one. is the most expensive neighborhood in Philly. Based oh, off listing price. Yeah, <laughs> it feels good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um now everything else is a blur. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go number a lot of more in greater center city, I will say. Okay. So I'll, I'll give you a hint there. Yeah. Um one of them is not. But Society Hill is that number two or? Th- Society Hill is number three. Number three. Society okay. Hill is number three. So three. you got one and three. Okay, one and three. Two. What's two? Ooh, Filler Square. Fiddler Square is not on this list. No, it's not. Okay. Not on not on this list. Okay. Um, okay. Surprisingly, though, I'm gonna I go would th- I would think it would be. Maybe they yeah. put a part of Rittenhouse, but I don't yeah. Know. Yeah, it could be. Uh, I'll go Fishtown, number seven, eight. Fishtown is on the list, but that's at, actually at number 10. 10. 10. Okay. But number eight, though, think think close to Fishtown. What's really close to Fishtown? Northern Liberties. Northern Liberties at number eight. Number eight. Okay. So Fishtown at 10, Northern Liberties at number eight. Okay. Wow, Where's... I'm not off. I thought I was going to be Dude, you're close. You got, one, you got one, three, eight, and 10. Okay. Um... So the rest, I mean, they're besides let's, one let's are all in Rock, Greater Center City. Let's go Roxborough Five. Not Roxborough. Think next to Roxborough. Maniunk. Maniunk. That's at number nine. Number nine. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ro- Maniunk's at number nine. Where's Roxborough? Roxborough is not on the top ten list. Okay, they must be including it together then. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah because there's some expensive houses in Roxborough. There are. There's some really nice houses in Roxborough. <laughs> it's a nice area. <laughs> yeah. Um. Mm-hmm. All right, so you got all the ones that are the rest of these ones are all in, in Center City, pretty much that that area, that general area. Really? Yeah. So from in South Philly, general like South Philly, kind of like closer up though to the Center City area. Okay. Um. Okay. 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 So did I get two? I didn't get number two. You haven't gotten two yet. I haven't gotten two. Two, and you said that's in Center. That's city. actually no, that's actually outside of Center City. Actually, I don't know exactly where it is. It's it's outside of Center City. I think it's near like Mount Airy area. Mount Erie. I think okay. it's close to there. Okay, what's the name? Chestnut Hill. Oh yes, Chestnut, Chestnut Hill. Hill. That's out by Mount Airy, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Yep. That's like that's near Rocks. So I'll, I'll give you that. I think I kind of threw you off because I said all Center City. So okay. I, okay. All good. All good. All good. So, so ch- two Chestnut Hill. Two Chestnut Hill. So we need Three, four. four, four, five, six, and seven. Four, five, six, and seven. Yes. <sighs> think, think where this country was started. The origins of where the founding fathers walked and where they ate and where they lived. Think think that area. Think think Liberty Bell. Think Independence mm-hmm. Hall. Okay. Um no. Old City. Old City F4. Old F4. City. Okay. Old City F4. Old and then just just south of Old City. Just south of Old South of Old City would uh. I'm lost. Queen Village. Queen, oh, okay. Queen Village, beautiful, okay. beautiful spot, beautiful area. I, I, I love that area. Okay, yeah. Um, next at six, think a little closer to Center City. It's a three, three letter. Or I'm sorry, three word neighborhood. There's three words in this neighborhood. Three words to yeah. this neighborhood. Think, not market east. Think direction. Uh. Washington Square West. Washington Square. Okay. Yep. Okay. All right. Is is um no okay. No, go ahead, go ahead. And this go one, this last one's just north of Point Breeze. That one was uh that one was what number? That one was six. That was six. Okay. And then this one is just north of Point Breeze. Just north of Point Breeze. Yes. North of Point Breeze. I'm gonna say On the other side of Washington Ave. 
Bella Vista, Bella Vista? No. Cl- on, more uh, closer to the school. Closer to the school. Grad hospital, graduate oh, hospital. Graduate hospital. Yeah. Okay. That's a that's a ten. 45. So I'll go down and I'll tell you the um, average listing price in that neighborhood. Please. So Rent House was at number one with an average listing price of one million three hundred one point three million. All right. Okay. Chestnut Hill was pretty much the same. Society Hill was at one million. Old City was at eight hundred thousand. Queen Village was at seven hundred and forty thousand. Washington Square West was at 693,000. Graduate Graduate Hospital was at 686,000. Northern Liberties was at 677,000. Maniunk was at 527,000 and Fishtown was at 411,000. There you go. See, that's what this is why I'm saying I just want to master Philadelphia because mm-hmm. there's just the, the na- there's so many neighborhoods it's so rich. It's, yes. it's there's so much there's so much culture, there's so much life in the city that I'm just like, I don't need to talk to anyone outside of Philadelphia. <laughs> well, uh, this this next one might be hard for you then. Okay. All right. Okay. Because what are the top 10 most expensive Philadelphia suburbs, Pennsylvania and New Jersey? Okay. Actually, one of them we're in right now. And this is according to Movoto. And it's based on the following criteria. Cost of living, median home value, percentage of income spent on rent and affordability ratio, which is the median home value divided by median household income. All right. Okay. So you're going to have to help me on everything except for number one. All right, dude, I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you. I'm a suburban guy. I grew grew up in the burbs, born born in the city, moved out to the burbs when I was a kid. All right. right. So So, um, I'll say I think number one is Lower Marion. Close, close, really close. Um, The first two are really close, and they're kind of similar in name. So... Um, think mainline, think big money, old money, old, old money. money type vibes. King of Prussia, no. further, no closer, closer, closer. Just not not that far out, but um, just think really old money, like I'm thinking old of, Welsh like, names. I'm thinking like what I'm thinking is um around the Villanova area, dude. Yes, think uh, think right around there. Name name some of those towns around there if you can. Um, I'm blanking right now off the top of my head. Nope, I'm blanking. All right, well, well, think of the town we're in right now. We're in South Jersey. Had- we're at Haddonfield. We're in Haddonfield. So that's a number three. Okay. Haddonfield is, is the number three most expensive Philadelphia suburb. I, I love this area. I was driving by him. Dude, I'm like, I'm moving here. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm ready to move here tomorrow, man. You better get your Jersey license and give me a spot. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, yeah, so Haddonfield's number three. So that, that's one out of ten. Um, think. Just start naming off some mainline suburbs. A lot of them are the mainline. A lot of them are actually. Yeah, I would. I would imagine. Um, okay. Um, Conshohocken. No, not Conshohocken. Not in there. Okay. No. Um, not Conshohocken. Bryn Mawr. Bryn Mawr's number two. Number two. Okay. Bryn Mawr. Good job. Number two. Um, there is. There's, there's. I know which is number one, and I'm like, it's like off the top of my tongue. Think, think, Bryn Mawr. What's kind of similar sounding, with a B. Not, not as long as Bryn Mawr, but what's with a B? B. Oh, I'll help you. Number one is Berwyn. 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 Berwyn, Pennsylvania is number one most expensive Philly suburb. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Didn't know that. So Berwyn, we got Bryn Mawr. We got Haddonfield, number three. Okay. Um, so we have four through 10 that are still blank. <laughs> uh, and they're all in the main line, you said? Like around there? Not all. Uh, Most well, of them are in the main line. Yeah. Uh, you have one more in Jersey. So if you if you want to give this one up, we'll just go through them. Uh, just go through them. All right, let's go through them. Yeah. All right, so number four is, so this one's actually surprising me, Wincote. Wincote, PA. So right next to Shellenham, that area over there. Really? Wincote's okay. at number four. Number five is Brumall, which I think is Delaware County. Brumall. Yeah. Um, Morristown dash Linola. I've never heard of uh, the Linola part, or maybe our South Jersey people will know, but that's right next to Morristown, I'm guessing. Yeah. So that, that's that's close to here, probably like 15 minutes. Yeah. Great school district, I heard. Morristown? Yeah. Yeah, it's a yeah, beautiful area. Um, number seven is Fort Washington. Fort Washington? Yeah, Fort Washington's nice area. They got the big Mercedes dealership. You got a lot of corporations are there. Oh, okay. Yeah, Fort okay. Washington. That's like uh, Montgomery County. Um, and then... Eight through ten are, I believe, in the main line. 
Narberth, PA. Okay. You have Windmore, PA. Okay. And then number 10, you have Penn Win, PA. Penn Win. Penn Win. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. That was good. Good job. And that, hey, you know, it's hard. A lot of them, like a lot of them are in, in the main line, but surprisingly, there's some that are, are not. And then New Jersey does, does take over some of them. So. Um, this it's one, this one's uh, <laughs> this one's really fun, I think. So this game is gonna be fun. So you're gonna have fifteen dollars to spend, and you have four levels. All right. So each option has a cost. So the starting at one dollar and five dollars. So okay. you, you only have fifteen dollars to spend. Once you get to the fifteen, you won't have any more money it's to spend. It's over. Okay. Yep. All right. So it seems fine. You have fifteen dollars to spend to create your perfect neighborhood. All right. All right. Level one is going to be your home style. So for option one, you have a small apartment. Option two, you have a townhome. Option three, you have a mid-sized suburban home. Option four, you have a large home in a suburban area. And option five, you have a luxury penthouse or mansion. Okay. Penthouse slash mansion. Okay. So and that that all costs like one. Yep. So one one dollar through five dollars. So luxury penthouse cost, costing the five dollars, the large home in a suburban area four dollars, mid sized suburban home for three dollars, town home for two dollars, and small apartment for one dollar. Okay. So perfect. I'm creating the perfect neighborhood based off of these options, and then yes, yes. I, I so have, you're up, you're up to four levels. So this is level one. Four levels. Yes. So this is level one. Level one. And you only have fifteen dollars to spend total. So okay. you have to you have to pretty much balance your options. What means more to you, what doesn't. So can I and I can only use the fifteen dollars in total for total. four levels. Yes. For the four levels. Yes. Okay. And it's my my perfect yes. home. Yes. Okay. Your perfect neighborhood. My perfect neighborhood. Yes. Okay. My perfect neighborhood. My perfect neighborhood. So, so your home style. What 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 do you value most of the home style? Um, like I think a bang for your bucks a townhouse. A townhouse. Yeah, two two dollars. You get a townhouse. Yeah. Or oh. or the mid sized suburban home. I don't I don't need a, maybe an older with you know more kids and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I like the townhouse. Yeah. Go townhouse. Go townhouse. All right. So two dollars. So we're at two dollars. Next level two, we're at neighborhood quality. So you have a low income neighborhood, few amenities, high crime rate. You have option two for $2, which is a working class neighborhood, some local stores. Okay. Option three, you have a middle class neighborhood for $3. You have decent local infrastructure. Number four, you have an upper middle class neighborhood for $4. It has good schools, amenities. Option five, you have an elite neighborhood, best schools, luxury stores, very low crime. That's five dollars. I'll take the five dollars on this one. Five dollars. All right. Seven. So you're spending. So you're at seven dollars right now. Yep. Okay. Next, we have walkability. All right. So option one for a dollar is car dependent. There are no sidewalks. Option two, it's somewhat walkable. There's limited um, public transportation. That's for two dollars. Option three for three dollars is there's moderately walkable. There's some public transportation nearby. Option four for four dollars is very walkable. There's amenities within walking distance. Okay. Option five for five dollars is completely walkable with bike lanes and green spaces. Philadelphia is option five. You know that, right? Oh yeah. Philadelphia. Most walkable city in America. That's right. I've seen that. <laughs> um, in this case, I will take option two. Option two. So yeah. maybe somewhat walkable, but no, there's there's maybe limited public transportation. So it's pretty car dependent. Yeah. All right. So you are up to nine dollars. All right, so you have a uh, you can ball out on the last one, yes, sir. And I think I know what you're going to go with. And this is crime rate. So <laughs> <laughs> if you would have bought out in the beginning, uh, but option one is high crime. Option two is moderately high crime. You need some caution. Option three is average crime rate, generally safe, but with some risk. Uh, low crime rate with a safe neighborhood for four dollars. Then a very low crime. Um, area extremely safe and secure for five dollars five dollars five dollars for me the 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 i like okay so i come from the dominican republic right mm -hmm. that was born there and it's very small island but what makes a uh, the neighborhood the best are the people mm -hmm. it's it, to me so i think if we have low crime rate where people can get along and then we also have Close proximity with townhouses. I think that's that's the greatest neighborhood in America. I, I agree, <laughs> I, dude. I I hundred percent agree. I think the only thing I would potentially change mm. 
would be making it a little more more walkable. walkable I like yeah. to walk, man. I like to get around. I don't. I don't like. I like. I do like to drive, but uh, I think driving sometimes brings out the worst in people as well. Mm-hmm. But we're living in a, a utopian type um, area. Then maybe everyone's friendly. Hey, how's it going, Jim? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, go ahead. You know, no one, no one's in a rush. Everyone's chill. So you know, in a perfect world. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I had an extra dollar to spend, so I probably could have upped it up a little bit, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, all right. So next we have, let's see here. Next we have fifteen dollars to create the perfect home in Philadelphia. So Ooh. style neighborhood walkability and crime rate okay style neighborhood walkability and crime rate okay. yep okay so option one for a dollar is a row house in southwest philly so it's a typical philadelphia row house typically smaller and older option two is a townhouse in kensington so it's affordable um and improving but obviously still facing challenges we have a twin home in maniunk which is a moderately sized home close to main street and lots of character uh, a detached home in Mount Airy. So it's a larger suburban style home with tree lined streets. That's for $4. Option five is a luxury condo in Rittenhouse. High rise living, views, modern amenities uh, in the most city's most prestigious area. So that's for $5. And go back, what, I'm, my, I'm trying to build what exactly? Just your, your perfect Philadelphia home. My perfect Philadelphia home. Yes. All right. And it's based off of the style the neighborhood quality, the walkability, and the crime rate. I'm gonna have to go with this one. I'm gonna have to go with uh, the the high rise in in, in Rittenhouse. Number five. So. All right, number balling out, man. <laughs> 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 uh, neighborhood quality. So a couple factors here. You know, many's in the neighborhood. Different um, different other aspects. So I'll go through each other options. So option one is Nice Town Tioga. So it's a low, a low income area with high poverty and limited amenities. Option two is Fishtown, but Fishtown in the early 2000s. So it's up and coming still. Um, it's still gritty, but it's known for its artistic community. Okay. Option three is South Philly and Passyunk. So it's tr- it's a traditional working class neighborhood, strong local culture and a good uh, culture and a good food scene. That's for $3. University City, that's number four. So um, you're close to the university over there, lively, and it is developing rapidly. So you can think of maybe potential appreciation there. Yep. And option five is Rittenhouse. I'm so that's for, for five. Four. four. So you're going to get a high rise in University City at $9. Yes, sir. All right, man. You don't have much, <laughs> oh. you don't have much left to spend. <laughs> um, so walkability. So number one for dollars, Northeast Philly, car dependent, suburban feel, limited sidewalks, public transportation. Number two is West Philly, which is somewhat walkable for $2. Somewhat walkable, mixed public and local amenities. Number three option is Fairmount. So moderately walkable, close to parks, museums, and transit options. Okay. Option four for $4 is Center City. So think Broad Street, very walkable, excellent access to public tra- transit, shops and restaurants. Number five at $5 is Old City. So extremely walkable, rich in history, cobblestone streets, everything within walking distance. I'm going to go with number one. Number one, Northeast. So you don't mind driving around? I, I don't have a... I have to budget myself here. Because <laughs> I know what's coming next. And um, yeah. yeah, that's important. All right. Crime rate, man. <laughs> so uh, I think I, I think I know what you're going to go with here. Yep. But um, let's start with option one for dollars, North Philly and Huntington Park to be exact with a high crime rate known for safety concerns. Option two is West Philly, specifically Cobbs Creek. Uh, that's moderate crime with there's some pockets of revitalization, but still some risk there. Option three is Germantown. That is in uh, for three dollars. Average crime rate, older neighborhood with strong historical significance. Option four is Chestnut Hill. That is a low crime, quiet, family friendly with tree lined streets and historic homes for four dollars. Mm-hmm. Then option five for five dollars is Society Hill. Very low crime, one of the city's safest and most upscale neighborhoods. Five. Five. I think that's solid. Honestly, I I'd maybe like change a little bit, maybe for the home style. I, I love the luxury condo though. That's so hard. Yeah. Like I'm thinking maybe I'd go with option five with uh option two, like early fish town. I think that's kinda really kinda cool. Yeah. I mean, you know. <laughs> still think, gritty but artistic. Still a little gritty, I think. I think yeah. I think it'd be kinda cool. Maybe maybe save a little bit there and then try to go for like um a little bit more walkability. 
like I, I kind of value that a little for, for myself personally. But right. everyone's different, so yeah. yeah, very good. All right, I like that. Yeah. yeah, this one, this is game number five. So this is our last game, actually. Okay. All right. So this, been fun. this is the top five. Okay, mm -hmm. and this is gonna test your knowledge a little bit. All right. So can you name? the top five most expensive states for real estate in the U.S. And this is according to Forbes, okay? okay. Most expensive states for real estate. Yes, okay. in the U.S. I'm going to go number one, California. So California is on the list. It's not a number one, though. It's oh. at number two. California is number, number two. two. Number oh, two. Darn. Okay. Then if it's not California, then I'm going to go with Nevada. Nevada is not on this list. Okay. That is and not New York is number one. New York is not number one. New York is at number what? three. Yes. <laughs> Remember, this is the state, right? So you the have state. New York's. I feel like New York's a big state. So maybe upstate is um, a lot cheaper than if you bought in Manhattan. So I think the state maybe evens itself out a little bit. Okay. But yeah, New York is number three on the list. And California is not number one. Number California two. is number two. Wow. There is a, mo a more expensive state than California and the U.S. Yes. Is it Texas? It is not Texas. Not Texas. This one's hard, is, man. You might not get it. Is it Florida? It's 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 not Florida. It's beautiful though, absolutely beautiful. It's beautiful. Beautiful, gorgeous. West Virginia. It's not West Virginia, <laughs> man. It's not West Virginia. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I, it's Washington. Washington is on the list. Oh my Washington's goodness. at number four. I may not get. I don't think I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep trying. I'm gonna keep think, trying. Think surfing. Think surfing. Mountainous. mountainous. Think think secluded. Maine? No, 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 no. Okay. Warm, tr tropical, beautiful. Warm, tropical, beautiful. Beautiful. Warm, I don't know if it's technically tropical, but you, you might. Hawaii. Hawaii. Oh, okay. Hawaii is number one. <laughs> Hawaii is number one. Okay. So there's one more on the list. You okay. said Maine. I will, I'll give you a hint. It's close to Maine. Very close to Maine. Close to Maine? Yes. Massachusetts. You got it. That, that's the top five, man. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I mean, I'm, I'm honestly really surprised. I mean, Washington. You know, number four on the list. I guess I maybe think like Florida has maybe taken that over, but no, Washington is still number four. You got those big tech giants out there. You got Microsoft, Amazon, Starbucks. When I think of Washington, I think of Seattle, and Seattle is just a really big, popular city in my mind. I'm just like, I know yeah. that's an expensive city, and everybody loves going there. Those big corporations out there, and when I think of when I think of Seattle, I think of like '90s grunge. I think of little coffee shops kind of like a big fish town kind of really that's the way i, I yeah. Kind of see it the, yeah. The, yeah i agree i yeah. agree with that one I, I also think of um the seattle seahawks that when they blew the, <laughs> the <football. laughs> they when should they have ran the ball man they should have ran the ball <laughs> that's what i think of yep. it's the thing of rain i just think going there just being like yep. locked inside of a house bunch of rain just dark and you're just listening <laughs> to like some 90s grunge and kurt cobain and yeah <laughs> um all right, man. Next, we have, can you name the top five least expensive states for real estate in the U.S.? And this is according to Rocket Mortgage. Um, so, yeah. Least expensive states. Okay. Least expensive states in the U.S. Oh, this is, I love these games, yeah. dude. They're so awesome. <laughs> They're very informative. And, and I'm learning a lot as I, as, I, as, I, as, I, as I do them. So, number one, I'm going to go with Ohio. Ohio is not on this list. Ohio. So they're actually, I think, all technically technically in the South. The one is very close to Ohio. Alabama? Alabama's on the list. It's at number two. Number two. Number two. Louisiana. Louisiana West is... West Virginia. They're both on the list. <laughs> they are both on the list. <laughs> so Louisiana is at number five. Okay. West Virginia is at number one. Okay. West Virginia. Mountain mama. Yeah. <laughs> West Virginia, man. So you have two two left. Okay. Um, so one is West Virginia. Ohio is number two. Ohio, no. Alabama is number two. Alabama. Ohio is not on the list. Louisiana is number five. Louisiana is number five. Yeah. So we have three and four left. So th these last two, I think, are actually still in the South. I know the one is definitely in the South. The other one's, um, in, I think, technically in the South. But um, yeah, no, it's definitely in the South. It's not too far from Louisiana. Uh, I don't want to say Tennessee. Not Tennessee, no. Because I know Tennessee is... Think big college. Big college. Think I, big college. I was I think Alabama big college. Think think close to that level, big college. South Carolina? No, not South Carolina. Mm. These ones are hard, man. 
thinking of of, of the Quakers. That's PA. Yeah, no. You give Florida. No, I give. You give. You give. All right, Mississippi at number three. Wow. And number four is Arkansas. Arkansas. That's Arkansas. in the South. Ar- I think so. I think it's kind of like near that area where uh, it's not quite the like Central America, like or I Central like US. Yeah. yeah. It's not quite mid yes that Midwest type area, but I think it's like still in the South. We see mm. Arkansas. Where that is on a map. My geography today is. I thought it was gonna be good going into this, but. Um, yeah, Arkansas. Yeah, it's it's right next to Mississippi, right next to Oklahoma. So it's not quite out of the South yet, but I mean, a, a state over, it would be. I, I would say it was out of the South almost. So that was Alabama. Yep. So number one was West Virginia. Oh, West Virginia. Alabama. Number two was Alabama. Number three was Mississippi. Number four was Arkansas, and number five was Louisiana for the least expensive states. In for real estate for real estate in the u.s so love that yep and only one out of the top 10 there was only one east coast state in the top 10 and for a bonus if you can guess that east coast state that's in the top 10 i'll give you a prize Ooh. you got one shot i'll give you some hints okay um uh, coastal so you're there's beaches there's okay. beaches big big vacation areas Okay. Um, a lot of people from a big city go there for for beach and vacation. Okay. Um. Let's let's start there. Florida. No. No. Delaware. Oh. Delaware. Okay. Yeah, a little closer northeast. Little I should have said northeast. But all right, man. Well, that was the games. Solid. And that was the show. I had a lot of fun, man. So did I. Yeah. I'm I'm excited for this. Well, yeah. I was excited and then I came in and I'm still I'm still You don't really know what to up. expect. <laughs> no. I did it and yeah. definitely superseded it. I, yeah. I I like this. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm excited to continue doing it and uh bring in more topics and bring in more guests and have some fun with it, man. So yeah. I'll say thank you always and um look forward to doing more, man. Let's do it, man. Do you want to say anything to the people before we leave? Anything that, you know. I want to say, if you're not following Darwin Laureano on all social media, then what are you doing? So follow Darwin immediately. Darwin is awaiting your follow. (laughs) Thank you, Alex. (laughs) Follow Alex as well, guys. (laughs) All of our socials are in the bio and description of this pod. So if you're listening on YouTube, you're listening on Spotify, you can go ahead and take a look and you can search us immediately. It's very fast. So... Make sure to look and give us a follow right now. Cool. Cool. That's good. All right, man. 